Despite mostly containing positive messages about things like hope and love, there's still some seriously messed up shit written in the Bible. I already went over 10 similar moments in another video, but in this video, I'll go over 5 even more messed up and disturbing moments from the Bible. In my opinion, the content of this video is way worse than anything I covered on this channel, so I'd have to give a content warning before I start. There will be sensitive topics like rape, incest, and murder covered in this video, so click away if these things make you squirmish. 1. Lot's Daughters There are some pretty great fathers in the Bible, but it's safe to say Abraham's nephew Lot was not one of them. After God got sick of Sodom and Gomorrah being the most obscenely depraved cities on earth, he sent two angels to Sodom so they could see if there was anything else worth saving in that city. There was Lot, who was hospitable and respectful to the angels, but there was also literally every other man in Sodom who were definitely not respectful and tried to be hospitable in um in hospitable and unconsensual ways. These men saw what I can only imagine to be two very handsome angels walking to Lot's home. And then they proceeded to surround his house, asking Lot to bring those angels out so they could participate in very unconsensual intercourse with them. Lot, being a very respectful man, was appalled by this, so quickly he thought of a solution. His brilliant idea was to offer his two daughters to the men instead so they could do whatever they wanted with them rather than bother the angels. Now I've seen my first year of horrible dads, but this guy is easily worse than at least a couple of them. There's more too, as this exemplary parenting definitely rubbed off on his daughters, as these girls, they grew up just a, a tiny bit weird too. A little while after Lot and his daughters had escaped the destruction of Sodom, they were holed up in a cave. Somehow, the only thing in both his daughters mind at that point was how much they needed to have children, and through the most questionable logic ever, they both thought it would be okay to get their father drunk enough so he could make them pregnant. From Lot himself offering up his daughters like that, to them taking advantage of him to do the Alabama thing, this is easily one strange and messed up family. 2. Cain and Abel Moving on to more interesting sibling action, here we have the classic case of sibling rivalry. The first one even, right after getting kicked out of the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve gave birth to two sons, Cain and Abel. So at least a decent portion of the earth were all family. And you know, family loves each other. Especially the first ever family, so surely nothing bad happens, right? Yeah, no, something completely horrible did happen. You see, Cain was a farmer, and his brother Abel was a shepherd. And they both did this thing where they prepared offerings for God from the fruit they made from their work. This meant Cain offered fruits, while Abel made meat from his livestock. Unfortunately, God only liked Abel's offerings, and this made Cain very, very upset and jealous. The only way Cain knew how to deal with this feelings, however, was to kill Abel. In a world where no murder had ever occurred before, somehow Cain thought of it, and then he murdered his own blood, his brother. And then his parents, Adam and Eve, had to experience the pain of death for the first time ever, but this was through losing their own child by the hands of another one of their children. 3. The First Sons Okay, so way back then when Israelites were still all in Egypt, they were made to do hard labor for Egyptians and basically treated like slaves. After this, God decided to step in, and to do this, he got Moses to help free the Israelites from Egypt. So Moses confronts the Pharaoh and asks him nicely to let the Israelites go. But of course, if you've ever had anybody do anything for you for free, you know there was no way in hell he was just gonna let them go. So the Pharaoh said no, and doubled down by increasing the amount of work the Israelites had to do. The Pharaoh clearly did not want to listen to any reason, so God changed and did things the hard way. Through Moses, God cursed Egypt to face 10 plagues, which included stuff like lice epidemics, hail, and famine. But the worst of all was the 10th and final plague, the death of all the firstborns. This plague is exactly what it sounds like. In just one night, the firstborns in all of Egypt died. Male or female, human or animal, rich, poor, old, young, it didn't matter. If there was an Egyptian firstborn, they died that night. It's one thing for the pharaoh or even high-ranking Egyptian officials to face this punishment. At least they had some sort of seal in keeping the Israelites as slaves and even benefited from it. But it wasn't just them. Even lower class Egyptians and slaves got the same treatment, despite not getting much benefit from the Israelite slaves. They all lost important family members too, whether it was a parent, sibling, or even a child. 
4. Tamar David was a great king, but unfortunately, even he wasn't immune to family drama. You know that little crush you had on your cousin when you were a kid? You know, the one that you're just so embarrassed to even think about today? Well, David's oldest son, Amnon, had one of those. But instead of crushing on his cousin, it was his half-sister, Tamar. And to make this even weirder, this wasn't as a kid. No, he was a whole grown-ass man when he liked his sister. And, um, I have to give another content warning here right now because this story gets really dark. You see, Amnon was so obsessed over his sister that even his advisor Jonadab noticed. So of course, as an advisor, he had to help Amnon deal with this problem. And in Jonadab's infinite wisdom, dealing with this problem meant getting Amnon alone with Tamar. So to do this, they pretended Amnon was sick and told King David that he wanted Tamar to come tend to him so he'd feel better. David, of course, being clueless, got Tamar to come in and make some bread for Amnon. But immediately, Amnon asked the servants to leave the room, and then he grabbed Tamar and then he grabbed her right there. After he was done, he felt disgusted and kicked Tamar out of his room. Incest, rape, and whatever you want to draw from this, this is easily one of the three worst moments in the Bible to be honest. Amnon is a total prick, and thankfully he got what he deserved later on. 5. Foreskins This last one is more disturbing than messed up. But at least you might find it funny too. That is if you have my sense of humor at least. So right after slaying Goliath, David became a mega celebrity in Israel. He had spent a little while winning battles and everyone in Israel just loved him for it. Everyone except Saul that is. You see Saul was the king, so he felt very insecure getting upstaged by David all the time. To fix this, Saul gave David tougher and tougher missions in hope that he would fail later and would get less praise because of it. Unfortunately. David was inevitable and still succeeded so Saul thought of a super plan. He offered one of his daughters to David but David would have to get the foreskins of 100 Philistine men for Saul to approve of their marriage. David being David killed some Philistines again but this time he not only got 100 foreskins, no, he got 200. It's weird when you think about it how much effort he put into mutilating corpses right after killing a bunch of people but he still did it and Saul still remained mad. So that was 5 more messed up moments in the bible. If you haven't already, you should check out my previous video on the 10 messed up moments from the bible. It also has some disturbing stuff in there if, if that's what you're into. Like the video if you liked it and I'll see you next time.